Hey, and welcome. We don't always have time to create custom style sheets for our pages. That's when a good CSS framework can help. Bootstrap is a popular framework for styling professional-looking websites and web applications. I'm Deborah Karata, and I'll be your style guide as we apply CSS with Bootstrap. This course is for anyone interested in web design or web development. It's also useful for those that manage or interact with web designers and developers to better understand what Bootstrap is and how it's used. To be successful with this course, you should be familiar with web concepts and the basics of HTML. If you are new to web design or development, consider watching the HTML course in this series first, Gentle Introduction to HTML for Beginners. You should also have some basic knowledge of styling concepts and cascading style sheets, or CSS. If not, consider watching the CSS course in this series, Gentle Introduction to CSS for Beginners. To confirm our terminology, here is an HTML page. Recall that HTML is a markup language. We use it to mark up a document for display in a browser. We mark up a header with an H1 element, an image with the image element, a document section with the section element, paragraphs with the paragraph element, and so on. Some of the elements have attributes, which provide identification and configuration information. For example, the image element has attributes to define the source of the image, the alternate text if the image isn't found, and the image height and width. The markup describes the content and structure of the page, but not the style. The browser provides a basic default set of styles for displaying content, functional, but not pretty. Here is a style sheet. Recall that CSS is a style sheet language. With CSS, we use a selector to select a set of HTML elements, then use CSS properties and values to declare style rules to style those elements. Here we style all H1 heading elements, and here we define the rules to style all paragraph elements. We use CSS to style and lay out our web pages to achieve something that instead looks like this. That looks better. But I didn't create all of the styles for this page. Rather, I used the style sheets provided by the Bootstrap framework. In this course, we introduce the Bootstrap styling framework and outline its benefits. We examine Bootstrap containers and utility classes. Then we walk through how to style a menu and a table. We explore Bootstrap's grid system for layout and how to style a data entry form. As this is an introductory course, we won't cover everything about Bootstrap, but we'll cover enough for you to start using Bootstrap in your projects. As you watch this course, you'll see me demonstrate many Bootstrap features. If you'd prefer to code along and style the web pages with me, you'll want a computer, not a phone or tablet. You'll need a code editor. I recommend VS Code for this course, as we installed and used it in the HTML course. And you'll need a browser, such as Chrome. But coding along is optional. Feel free to sit back and soak in the content. So, what is Bootstrap? We'll answer that next. Like and subscribe for more content.